away from me, beasts! Foul demons! Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator and welcome back to Blast Brawl 2! We're taking a look at three characters, hopefully today, uh, if I don't do too terribly. <laughs> that being the Viking, the Vanguard, and the Sniper. The Viking is an interesting character, he does have his little brandish as all characters do. Um, his dodge is not really a dodge, it's more of a bull rush that will knock enemies back. And then you've also got your uh, chargeable attack here. And finally, another knockback when you play your awesome axe. Your axe! We'll see how we do. Not one of my strongest characters, just like the pirate in the last episode. It will probably be a pretty painful thing. But uh, we are going to try the darkness below level today. And uh, hopefully that'll do just fine. There's lots of bugs and things. There we go. It's a nice early kill. And two. Nope, only one. I did, however, knock the shit out of that guy. There we go. I do like that you can uh, control your movement just a little bit when you're running around with your axe. So uh, if you don't want to lift off into the air, you need to hold it down because otherwise you will get what is basically a third jump. The Viking does have a, oh my god, just murdered all the enemies in that wave. The Viking does have two jumps, although they're not uh, too big. It is an extremely helpful thing for the mobilita. Oh my god. I got got. There we go. Obviously the Viking is uh, relatively proficient at taking out large waves of enemies. And that guy just stopped my axe attack immediately. Which ain't good. Oh my god. Here we go again. Just murdered. Murderized. Absolutely wrecked by the bug creatures. I'm out of here. I I'm so sad. Darkness below. Just wrecks my shit. Back to the courtyard. Every single time. Uh, and you see that? <laughs> it's really hard to fucking... Estimate the range. It's not an estimation. You know what the range is on the axe. But it is uh, hard to put into play. Especially when you don't play the Viking so often. Which I don't. There, I got him with the uh, the backswing. Relatively helpful. And I got one of those dudes, but got caught by his buddy. Oh my god. There we go. I think the uh, knockback attacks are meant to make it so you can charge up the axe just a little bit more. Oh. And I'm even worse with the Viking than I was with the pirate. I just want to get to like round five. That would be fine. I'm really concentrating on, uh, the length of the battle axe. Which I think is the secret to being the Viking. Being the Viking you always wanted to be. There we go. Boosh! Get the fuck out! Oh my god. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> Are Vikings scared of zombies? They shouldn't be. I think the only things Vikings are scared of are knights and pirates. And there's no knights in this game. <laughs> pirates, Vikings, and knights. Yeah. Not even ninjas. Ninjas are in this game. Oh my god. I was so sure I was gonna get got by that guy. I'm so nervous! Good job, Viking. Just the way I wanted it to be. You can, uh... You can use your secondary attacks or your secondary skills while you're charging up your axe, which I think is a, a relatively good thing that uh, I need to practice with. There we go. Now you're dead. Easy. Easy squeezy. Now shit's gonna get real. And there's some uh, lift off with my axe. Um, bleh. I was trying to split him up just a little bit. It did not work as I had hoped. Away from me, beasts! Foul demons! Oh, and I did get got finally. 
At least we're having a, a bit of a better run with the Viking. As long as I can uh, keep the range of the axe in the back of my mind. It is relatively easy to take out big swarms of enemies, which is which is nice. But, oh my god, I can't believe that missed him. But yeah, the, the length is definitely something that uh, presents a problem. Oh my god, I have no idea how I'm gonna take these guys out. This is, uh, this is gonna present some trouble. Poor little viking. I really thought I was gonna get him. <laughs> Just sad. Fucking sad. Alright. We're done with you, viking. Thank you so much for your, uh, contribution, but... I think we've had about enough. Vanguard is really, really nice because you can block all attacks with the shield. It does have a shield smash, a butt slam, a block, which is uh, relatively nice, and then you can also charge. Boosh! However you uh, do give up your shield when you're running across the screen like that. Additionally, you can also just uh, jump on top of people, which I think is really, really cool. Again, we're going to the courtyard because every other level seems to scare me just a little bit. Bop. And again, you don't have to uh, dash with your shield, but it is pretty cool if you do. There we go. And boosh. Jump on their heads. Makes it uh, just a little bit more like Super Mario. How's that? Oh my god, I turned my back to that guy for just a second. And he found his, uh, his entry point. You do have to be aware of which way your shield is facing when you're playing as the Vanguard. But uh, he does have a, a double jump as well, which really helps in setting up the uh, the butt slam there. Boosh! There's my shield block. Obviously was not attacking in that moment and still able to block. Which I like! Oh my god. And then I uh, surrounded myself when I set up for the butt slam. There we go. Able to take out three enemies with just one shield slam and uh, take out those guys, or make them take themselves out. And there we go, one more time. Just slam them against the wall. The secret of the vanguard. There we go. Nice butt slammings. Oh, and I got crept up on by that fucking guy. That's all right. We've already made it to round six relatively quickly as the vanguard. Um, I'm not super proficient with this character, but being able to jump on things does make things a hell of a lot easier. His mobility is a little slow, but um, with the second jump, it's not too much of a, of a trouble. Oh my god, and we've got a second vanguard here. I'll try and smash him. There we go. He had his shield pointed down to the ground, so I was able to get in and uh, do my work. There's one. Oh my god. He caught me at the end of my shield slam, so my shield was not up, unfortunately. Ah! And the fucking range on those guys. Still freaking me out three episodes in. I really, really do like the Vanguard's ability to squish stuff with his butt, though. Just like that, mash that fucking pirate up. Oh my god, and I got surrounded by those guys. Which is no good. And I want to get out of here. Damn. Those fast guys are relatively difficult for the Vanguard compared to other characters. Just because of his, uh, his impaired mobility. Hopefully I can just smash him. Okay, I'll get away. Set up over here. There we go. Round nine, we're looking relatively spiffy. Oh, I think I got three with that one. And again. There we go. And now my, uh, the bane of my existence. Those, uh, shooty guys. Yep, not able to take him out. I should set up for a butt slam above him if I'm able to. But sometimes that's a little difficult as well. Miss. 
A swing and a miss. There we go. Take them out. Take them all out. Wow. I turned just in time to block that. Take one of those guys. Two. All right. And come on. Come on, little Vanguard. You got it. I got two lives left. But I'm going to make them count. There we go. Did I get one of the skull things? I think I did. And the other one got me. Curses! Curses! There's the ninja. I was able to get him just as he vanished. Because he was in uh, the same spot. I do like the ninja's not uh, completely invulnerable while he's vanished. So I think that would be a, just a little OP. Oh my god. Get away! Nope. They got me. It's our last stand, gentlemen. Oh my god! Get away! Alright, slam him! Yes. Having a nice run with the uh, vanguard here. And was able to kill the viking just as he fucking pulled out his axe to try and knock me away. Super awesome. And the pirate does me in. Damn it, damn it. Still a really good round with the vanguard. I do like that a whole heck of a lot. Our final character is the sniper. Devastating hit and run attacks. She's got a, a mine which she can lay down. But it can also kill you. And then her attack is extremely long range. Can shoot all the way across the screen. And then she's got her little dive. And a spin kick which is able to block some attacks and projectiles or most attacks and projectiles however the uh, timing on it is extremely difficult we'll do the courtyard just because uh, it's been going pretty well demonstrate my explodey abilities and uh, hopefully flip past these guys no problem oh my god killed myself The uh, sniper does have a second jump, which is uh, a good thing. I like those characters with some mobility to them. And there we go. Exploded everybody. Hoop. Set up a bomb over here. That did some damage. And uh, I also had some damage done to me. Which is the way these things go sometimes. Shoot. How about a uh, little bomb? There we go. There's those hit and run attacks I was talking about. Set up for these guys. Oh, oh, oh. You obviously do have to be relatively good at uh, jumping and shooting if you want all the angles that you're able to uh, hit with the sniper. You can't just aim it anywhere. It does have uh, eight directions to it. But that ain't enough sometimes. Sometimes you're just starving for a little more. But I do like the sniper because of things like that. Able to uh, take out the skull things relatively easy. Which all the other characters tend to have trouble with. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. I just want to set up a bomb. Someone set up us the bomb. We get signal. Main screen turn on. It's you. How are you, gentlemen? All your blast brawl are belong to us. <laughs> uh -huh. Aha! Ha! Damn. At least I did get him with my death. <laughs> Here's that fucking Viking. Not gonna have a good time. And he did not see that coming. Oh my god. There we go. Able to take that thing out. And again. Really, really cool with the sniper. If you're uh, playing multiplayer, I think it would be a lot easier because you can kind of combine classes. One person's the vanguard. Protect the sniper, etc, etc. But uh, as it is right now... My god, this viking is wrecking me. <laughs> as it is, you it just kind of is what it is. And... Uh, the class you pick obviously has a gigantic effect on the gameplay. 
Oh my god. Yep. Done in by the Viking. Not a bad round, though. I think uh, the sniper's abilities were demonstrated relatively well. If I get somebody to sit down and play Versus with me, I think that would be a relatively fun thing as well. But uh, my buddies are on the road at the moment. Anyways, this has been Blast Brawl 2. This will be the last episode until the next time. <laughs> Making it not the last episode at all, maybe. But if you did enjoy the series, I hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe, friends. And if you do, I will send you uh, a cell phone. It's pretty nice. $40. It's an AT&T Go phone. Prepaid. I'm not going to pay for it, though. Anyways, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Give me a call sometime. <laughs> Until the next time, friends. Bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, 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 see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again.